Hey everyone, welcome back to Europa Universalis for the Extended Timeline mod as the People's Front of Judea. We are in the year 131 and we're currently at war with Axum and we're winning uh, heavily, actually, uh, which is awesome. Always like winning. And apparently 9,000 men are all we need to siege this. Okay, so wh what that means is... Actually, we're going to get rid of all of the horses and the horses are going to go to... Oh, no, 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 no. I'm gonna get rid of all the horses. So there are no horses in there. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, but 10,000 men are enough to siege. Uh, and the two siege pips are definitely helping out quite a bit. Yeah, it's very good. We have our 8,000 men here. Our manpower is doing very well. I'm happy. I'm very happy in how things are going in, in, in general. I like that. Okay, you guys can move on over here. And then we're just gonna have to um, see what where these guys go and what they do. We might want to give out or give these cores back to our former ally, but nah, not entirely sure. I think what we're gonna do is just take these three provinces, and then we're gonna be able to uh, declare one these guys because we bothered them, and then we can even declare one them. Uh, and take three more provinces. So that would be very cool, and I think that's the way we're gonna go. Okay, ten thousand men. Those are mostly cavalry, actually. Okay, let's go here then. You will siege this castle, and they will unsiege stuff. At least they will try. Nope, they're running away. Good. Well, I think we're just gonna wait to uh, and let this this capital fall, let Axum fall, and then. We'll do maybe maybe I even want to take Axum simply because it's a fort province and sieging it is kind of annoying. Um, even though I don't have a claim on it, I, I probably want to yeah I probably want to take it in this war as well simply because it's it's very annoying if I if I have to siege this every single time. Okay, so yeah, so we've taken the siege, um, and yeah, let's go. This is actually seventh of November. Trading and slaves, we have lost that. Okay, so that means we're going to have to go over here. I'm going to fight you. We've attacked across the river into Highlands, but we have more troops coming in. So that shouldn't really be a problem. We're going to win. Not really very efficiently, but we're going to win. So that's all that matters. Uh, we actually have to watch out for a couple of rubbles. Okay. And we're also kept on manpower. Uh, on, on administrative power. So I think we're just gonna have to develop some more provinces, right? Yeah, kind of. There you go. 175. Don't want to do the 182. That's just kind of expensive. Just go to 4. Whatever we can. Good. That got rid of a lot of admin points. Very nice. Whew. Come on, destroy them. There they, there they go. Okay, uh, you, the siege guy, siege that province. And we should be able to demand whatever we want, basically. So I think we're going to take this province, and then we're just going to demand everything that we can. So I definitely want this. And I also want this. Simply because it is just worth so much. We can take a lot of money from them as well. Wow, look at that. And war operations. I think that seems also humiliate them. Uh, maybe we're going to have to get, give up all of our money here. Or at least a lot. I think that's much better. Yeah, we're going to get power projection for this. And power projections are obviously, obviously always good. So yeah, I think that's the way we're going to we're gonna do it. Fine, take it. Easy as that. Awesome. Look at that. Okay, so we can convert them immediately. We now have a food province, which is obviously quite, uh, worth quite a lot. So, hmm, coastal desert. You're going to go here. If you guys are going to rise up, then you, you better do it. Might as well. These guys are going to rise up anyways. If I turn on or if I yeah increase autonomy or not, so might as well. Um, what is our war exhaustion? It's a two. 
All right, so might as well send in uh, missionaries first. Cool. So there you are. Awesome. Now we definitely don't want to fight in the highlands, so we definitely need to put someone into Axum. But the rest of that does not really matter that much. Rome has warned us. Oh my god, that is actually quite bad. That is actually quite bad. Okay, could we get an alliance with Parsia? That would be interesting. They will give us military access. We, could, we are very close to getting an alliance with Parsia, yes. And that would be what we need in order to crush Rome. And I think that's how we're going to do. We're going to declare war. Uh, lose Republican Dresden. Yes, but gain money. I think that's how we're going to do it. We're going to declare war on this little guy, or maybe this little guy. Call him Parsia, and, and that's, that's where we're going to do this. Hopefully that works. And now we're going to fight Rome. Obviously, we're going to need some favors from these guys. But oh well. Okay, well, Rome just kind of cock-blocked us, so that means we're not gonna be <laughs> declaring any more wars anytime soon, at least. Okay, we're now actually below our force limit. Awesome. So we have 6, 5, and we have 10. So w what we're gonna do is naturally build a new cavalry. Nope, not here. Build it here. Nope. Build it here. Well, it's much quicker, obviously. Awesome. So yeah, we're improving relations with these guys. We'll probably also want to improve relations with Rome. I wonder how many men they have. They st oh my god. 170,000? Even with Parchia's help, I don't think we could take them on. Seriously. They're just nuts. Okay, we can get this. Infantry shock. Get the technology, obviously. And uh, colonial range. Does that mean I can get... I can trade some more? No. Still can't do that. I can't even trade in Ethiopia now. What the hell? It says I can't even reach this one now. Our closest port... Where we have fleet basing rights. Okay, gain diplomatic power and improve relations with Rome. Or gain... Mercant no, I want mercantilism. I love mercantilism. It's just so good. Protect our brethren in Zemian. I think that's actually a very good mission. Yeah, we're going to do that because that means we will be able to declare war in Axum. And that's something we can actually do. Yeah. So go for it. So I really wonder if Rome would attack us. Or if, if Rome would join if we attack these guys. No. Apparently the warning has ended. At least it doesn't show up. But we have been warned. I'm pretty certain. Look at all these rebels rising up now. So, okay, yeah, we have to be careful. Right, send you guys over there. Um, Al Jauf Najran. Oh, why is there ten unrest? Autonomy decreased. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Najran. Tajura Asap. Yeah. Mountains. Jazan. Is anyone rising up in Jazan? Yeah. Okay. Well, I don't want to fight in mountains, so we're going to have... Well, at least I don't want to attack in mountains. Okay, humiliated them. So we gain extra... Monarch points, I think. Yes, at least 50 power projection. Very cool. Okay, we could start making this a core. Wow, 113. That's very expenses, uh, expensive. I'm surprised. Oh well. Combine. And uh, gain money or prestige? Gain the prestige. Prestige is way m w worth way more than just the money because we have an abundance of money right now. We're it says we're losing, but that's only because of our missionaries. Look at the tax we're making. So much money from tax. It's amazing. Alright, let's go forward a little bit faster. Since we're basically just waiting for rebels to spawn and uh, missionaries to missionize. And work exhaustion to tick down so that we can actually start coring stuff. I guess we could start right away, but nah. Just don't really want to. Okay, so we've improved relations with Parsia as, as much as possible. 
would they take in the lines? Very well, not as close as I thought, actually. Not as close as I thought. They... Okay. Is, we are threatened by Rome, and they like us. Um, but we're not the same religious group. We have neutral attitude, and our army is apparently not strong enough, and our diplomatic reputation seems to be quite bad as well. So can we get a diplomatic reputation guy? We cannot. That's a shame. Oh, and soon this guy's gonna die. It's also gonna be bad. With extra full defense. I wonder if there's any policies we can pick that could help us out here. Diplomatic relations. No, not, not really. National unrest, minus one. That's probably useful. Um, go for the bureaucratic candidate. Okay, close this please. And we have converted two provinces successfully, so let's convert the other two. And uh, let's start the coring. Almost. Three more months and then we can start coring. Although I guess it really already doesn't really make a difference. Yeah. Start coring. It doesn't make a difference. We're actually gaining points. We're military rank third, administrative rank fifth, and diplomatic rank sixth. We're very good. But we lost a claim in Suakin. Oh, uh, this guy, so we need to fabricate on him. Well, I guess we're gonna do that. I wish we could threaten war. But we don't have any. Actually, could I threaten you with war? No. Wait, what? That aren't a capital. Apparently, I can't even call that one. Damn it. So I can't even, I can't threaten these guys because that's their capital. I can't threaten these guys for war because that's their capital as well. Ah, that's annoying. Truly annoying. Okay, these guys, Masaba and Axum will rise up. Okay, um, gain more mechan- Wow, how much mechanism do we have? Seriously. This is kind of ridiculous. 40%. Wow. What are we 10... We already get a neighbor bonus for technology. That's impressive. How long until the next technology? Um, only 22 years. Okay. That's nothing. Wow. All these people are going to rise up at the same time. That's kind of annoying. Perhaps what we're going to do is build some mercenaries because those are six and give them two more cavalry. Because I just kind of want to help out my 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 dudes. We're getting extra man manpower. That's always useful. But yeah, I want to help them out. 90%. Okay, yeah, they're all going to rise up. Maybe we can get them together before that even. And get them all into the mountains. Cool. I think we're also... Are we building two? Yeah, we're building two more horses. Okay, one conversion has been successful. All of these guys are Jews. Look at the Jewish religion. Growing stronger. Awesome. And let's call this stuff. Cool. Still need to call this one as well. 110. Okay, so three factions at 90% to rise up. So they're probably going to rise up very soon here. Okay, start making this a core as well. Good. And now we can even... Well, we're almost there to get the new technology. Okay, so those are the first one to rise up. Um, I see. We're gonna all get you guys together in all Jauf. Alright, move in. Those are mostly... We're actually just sending in infantry, which is very bad. We don't really have any cavalry here. And we have been attacked in Axum as well. But we should be able to deal with these guys. We are defending in mountains and we have more troops. They unfortunately captured this, this uh, province. That's really a shame. Um, but oh well. You are the big guys. Nope, just get rid of the big guys. Awesome. You go over here. So there is more separatism, I believe. 
Yeah, Separatists in 11 years. So they got extra Separatists, and that's a shame. Okay, where are you gonna rise up? Asap and Tajura. So let's go there then. And you go to a sub. Actually, yeah. You get the leader. Mershan, this guy. Yeah, you're probably faster if we do it this way. And you, nope, stay here. Damn it. Nah, whatever. Taking a little bit of attrition. And Annabelle Husbandry is the technology that we have just researched. Okay. And next we'll be able to build a glorious monument that is going to give us extra tax and local missionary strength. Well, we've already converted everything, so don't think we really need that, but might as well take it, obviously. Wow, we're losing so much ducat. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of these guys, I think. Uh, let's get these guys over first. Then we're gonna get rid of them. Uh, gain diplomatic power, gain mercantilism. No, this... No, gain mercantilism, it's fine. Um, those are the mercenaries. We don't need the mercenaries. Thank you. Awesome. We have negative admin power. So we're making money again. Who? Uh, wow. We can import so much iron, but I think we want to go for production. Go for some production, yeah. These guys still want to rise up. Hmm, surprised. Can I declare war on you guys? Rome. It says Rome would not join, so I'm a little bit surprised. They have taken. Definitely, they've won the war. Okay. Hmm. Can't ally them just now. We'll probably will be able to do that sooner rather than later. Okay, so let's let's let these guys rise up first, and then we're gonna declare one odd, and then we're gonna take mascot as well. That would be glorious. But Rome is really powerful. Gee, I mean, of course that Rome mighty Roman Empire, but tougher than I thought. Okay, uh, lose Diplo or Admin Diplo, because we have more Diplo than Admin at the moment. Although we're probably gaining more. Yeah, we're gaining way more Admin still. It's more valuable to us. Okay, also have these guys rising up in Mocha. We don't want that. Because that is Mountain. Most of the autonomy is already gone. I like that. The nobility seizes power in Muscat. So, what does that mean? Noble rebels. So you have a tribal kingdom still. Okay. So nothing has changed in your government. Uh, a bureaucrat. Yep, I like the bureaucrats. Even though we only have... Yeah, we have 100% guild representative. Okay, and... Um, so we've been attacked over here. Well, that's not really a big deal. Yeah, we even killed their leader, it seems like. And we've gained another core. So where will be the next uprising? Mokka. So you guys go to Mokka. And you will go to Kinda. No, you will go to Kinda. You will go to Mokka. That's where the next serious uprisings will start. Um, awesome. So we can suppress them. I like that. Don't want these guys to rise up. Really not a fan of that. So if our capital's still over there, it's very far away from our power base, I'd say. Okay, I, this guy has died. That's a little bit of a problem. We could get the missionary strength guy. Don't really think we need him, but might as well get him, and then we can get rid of this edict. Or no, it's not edict, but this policy. Yep. Revoke that one. Discipline and national tax and yearly infl inflation. Yeah, we still have- well, look at our inflation, Jesus. Obviously very ex expensive, I think. Okay, I think we're gonna go and declare the war here. Yeah. Declare the war, take Dofar. So let's see if Rome joins. They didn't say so, so that would be kind of annoying if they, if they would. And let's move our troops to the border. Probably should have done that earlier, but yeah, it, Rome is out in the war. 
So even though they warned us, it just doesn't really matter. Good. Anyways, guys, I think I'm going to put a cut in here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you next time. It's Yutranka, signing off.